More than 100 people are out of a job tonight in Merrill as Semco announces it's shutting down. Let's bring back News 9's Sarah McGrew with the details. It's really heartbreaking. Simcoe Glass and Door Plant, a staple in the Merrill community since the 40s, now closing down. And we got a call from uh, one of our members, just hysterical, screaming in the phone, what's going on? I just got a letter that the plant is closed. That letter sent to over 100 employees. I thought it was my last pay or paycheck for tomorrow. And when I opened it up and got that, I was shocked. And in the letter, the president of the company blames lack of orders, not enough cash, and inability to sell the company as reasons for closing down. And it's a cowardly act on Pat as far as just sending us a letter telling us that we, we are no longer employed. Employees at the plant were prepared to return to work on Monday. Right after the holidays, right after Christmas, New Year's. Definitely a shell shock for a lot of people. Now, after decades of working at the plant for some employees, the future is unknown. I'm not sure what's going to happen now. We'll just play it by ear and um, see what happens. In the letter to employees, the president says he regrets having to do this. And we did try reaching out to Simcoe for a comment, but haven't heard back. Reporting for News 9, I'm Sarah McGrew. State Representative Mary Felskowski and State Senator Tom Tiffany sent out a joint statement about the Semco closure. They say their priority will be assisting our constituents during their job transition period in any way they can. 